applying tape to the edges of my eyes for a cleaner, crisper edge. Then I'm going to be applying my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre with a Morphe blending brush. Once I'm all done blending that out, I will be going into this bone shade in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm applying this right over the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre just to make it easier for us to blend. With a fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking this color right here and I will be applying this into my crease. Because I will be using a lot of purples, I just wanted a warmer shade to warm up my crease so that it kind of pops out through that purple. So using windshield wiper motions, I'm just going back and forth making sure that the color is very nicely blended. Going into my artist palette I will be using the dusty rose color with that same blending brush we used to apply the orange warm shade. I'm basically applying this right over that color because again I just want that warm kind of orangey tannish color to kind of peek through underneath the purple. When I am done, I will be going into Punch Fuchsia with a pencil brush. And I'm going to be putting this right into my crease, going back and forth. Once I seen it on my eyes, I actually really, really like the color. So I go back throughout the video and just apply this more and more because it does lose its intensity if you blend it out too much or once you start to layer other colors. So taking a fluffy brush, I just wanted to scatter this a little bit over my brow crease. So I'm just putting that in there. Next, I'm going into the color Aubergine with a flat brush. And I'm applying this color to the outside of my eye only. But then I'm going to be taking the tip of the brush and blending that in to my crease. I just wanted kind of a darker, more intense look on the outside of my eye. Now I'm just taking a fluffy brush to make sure that the edges are nicely blended and that aubergine color blends nicely into the punch fuchsia. Next I'm going to be going into the coal color. It is a very darkish color but I feel like it has a hint of blue in it so I'm layering this right on top of that aubergine color just for a little bit more intensity this is an optional step but I just wanted to kind of darken that up now I'm taking punch fuchsia on a thicker blending brush because again I really liked how this looked going into my brow crease now I'm taking this Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil in white. I'm using this as a base for the yellow because we have darker colors on our lid, so I wanted it to stand out as much as possible. I am blending this with a MAC 185 brush just because this is a concealer brush, so I felt like it would blend it a little bit better. I'm starting to pack on that yellow fresh color from the palette. I felt like it wasn't as intense as I wanted it to be, so I very lightly dampened my brush with my MAC Prep and Prime, and I basically used this to intensify that look a little bit more. Now I am cleaning up my edges with that coal color that we had used earlier, and again, I just want to clean up my edges, so I'm very lightly blending this into that fresh color. Using the color aubergine, I'm putting this back into my crease again just to clean up any fallout that might have happened with that yellow fresh color. Using Punch Fuchsia and a thicker blending brush, I'm going to be blending this into my crease, getting rid of any harsh edges and just making this a very smoky look. I can't speak. I'm taking off my tape and I'm prepping and moisturizing my face using my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, I'm going to be mixing these two colors on the back of my hand and then dotting them onto my face. And using the thing that I will only always ever use, my Beauty Blender, to blend my foundation into my face. I'm breaking out so horribly, like I can't even explain it. I'm breaking out so bad. So I'm really just pressing this into my skin, hoping that I am just blending all of the pimples off of my face so nobody can see them.
I'll be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to blend any, to blend, to conceal any of my blemishes. I would use this as a concealer, but I got this in a color that was way too close to my skin tone. I like to go a couple shades lighter, so I just use this to conceal any of my blemishes and again I'm using my beauty blender to kind of blend this all into my face because it's two different colors but if you blend it nicely it'll just work now I'm using my favorite concealer of all times that is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 I'm applying this to pull any of my face out, I guess, just to highlight everything. So I'm putting this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and around my mouth just because I feel like it's been looking a little dark lately. If you guys would like to see a cream highlight and contour, thumbs up this video and I would love to do that for you guys because I've really, really been liking the whole cream contour effects look on my face. So just let me know if you guys would like to see that. I'm blending everything very, very lightly with my damp beauty blender. When I say lightly, like I'm barely going underneath my eyes, but obviously everywhere else I am blending. Just as a reminder, you want to use padding motions to blend your concealer. You don't want to swipe anything. And then my husband walks in. I'm using the Shade and Light Contour Palette to highlight my under eye areas and set everything. So this is a new trick that I've been doing lately. I've been going in with that middle yellow shade to kind of set my under eye area, I want to say, and the rest of my face. But then I discovered this color the other day. I noticed that I was running out of my middle yellow color so I started using this this highlight color on your left side seriously highlights the face like no other I think I like this even more than my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is definitely something that I'm going to start using more often don't kiss me when I am doing my makeup thank you so much now I am curling my lashes I will be putting a dark eyeliner and I'm going to be tight lighting with this I won't put this underneath my eyes because I will be using a gray shade on my lower lash line now I'm using the black Maybelline stiletto to kind of form just a thin line over my eyes so that I can later conceal my lashes. Here we go. I am using my Ardell Demi Wispies for lashes today because they are my absolute favorite. So you just want to make sure that you're pressing the top like the strip of your lash in and then you're pinching them together and then you're pushing the lash up for a fuller effect. Taking Aubergine, I will start to actually not taking Aubergine. I'm going to be applying the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in gray. And then taking Aubergine, I'm going to start blending that into my under eye area. I wish I would have made this a little bit more smoky and not so thin because I felt weird the rest of the night. Now I'm taking the blue velvet color and applying this as close to the lash line as possible. I went the whole entire night without under eye mascara and I felt so weird and now I know why. Taking the Punch Fuchsia, I'm going to be scatter blending this um, into my lower lash line and then you are all done with the lashes, well with the lower lash line. Now I don't know why it didn't show it but I'm taking the Victoria's Secret Bronze in, I don't know what color it is, I'll list it down below. Um, I'm basically bronzing my face up with this. Now I'm taking this color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to sculpt my cheekbones just a little bit more and my forehead as well because I have a big forehead. And then I'm also going to be contouring my nose with the same color and blending it as well. Blush, I will be using MAC Rosy Outlook and I'm going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks. I'm seriously obsessed with this blush. It's my favorite. For highlight, I'm going to be using MAC Oh Darling and I will be applying this all over my face just to make my face look like a light bulb. For lips, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Holy Grail in 2C. This is my absolute favorite lip liner and probably the only one I will ever use. And then for my liquid lipstick, I will be using Anastasia Pure Hollywood. Is that what it's called? 
Yep, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood and applying this to my lips. I feel like this combo right here is absolutely amazing because this dries matte so it makes your lips look a thousand times fuller. Personally, I like making my lips look a little bit more fuller, but you can do what you want. Lastly, I will be applying Becca Opal into my tear duct for an added highlight and to make my eyes look a little bit more open. So that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and tune in next time. Bye guys.